Hey guys, Renahool did three here from the Mod of Minecrafters. Today we're gonna be doing our sixth episode of our Dire of Twenty Pack FTB mod let's play. Um I missed some or I messed up some recording, so y'all missed a little bit because of my mic wasn't working, the audio wasn't showing up. So basically all I did was I made it a pumpkin farm and a sugar cane farm back at our base and added in a chunk loader to load everything while I was gone. On um, and I found another fortress, added in a chunk loader, and oh, let's change that to one. Um, and I got a little turtle program set up to where for this blaze spawner. Basically, all it does is it sit here, uh, attacks the blazes, and checks its inventory to see if it has anything. And it for some reason I only got it to be able to check this uh, slot. So once it sees something in here, it will turn to its right and then put it in the chest. So we've gotten quite a little blaze rods, which we can definitely use for fuel. I've also gotten tons of XP, but I keep dying and losing all of it. So I want to go fix that and a couple other things by, here let me make, uh, go down this walkway which I made, oops, what is going on? Um, what I'm going to start on is I'm going to go ahead and get a hazmat suit. Um, it's a armor set from Industrial Craft 2, basically you're resistant to lava and fire and radiation and stuff. Uh, but the only one I'm worried about is lava and fire. And I tested this in creative. Um, if you have the hazmat suit on, you are basically um, immune to the blaze rod's attacks. So they cannot hurt you whatsoever. All they do will lessen the durability of your hazmat suit. Ooh, forgot about that. I forgot that for some reason it changed my nether portal spawn. Whoa. Uh, of course. So I'll be right back once I get to my base. Okay, as I'm back, um, I'm gonna fill up this little creeper hole I found real quick. And basically, I'm gonna talk about what we're gonna do this episode. Um, we're gonna get started with a somewhat of a magic mod. Basically, it's the soul shards mod. And what you do is you create these soul shards, and the shards basically capture the enemy's soul. So you, once you kill a mob with a soul shard, it designates that soul shard to that mob. And if you get a, uh, enough kills on it, you can upgrade its tier. And there's only five tiers. Um, tier 1 being the lowest quality, tier 5 being a high quality. Uh, tier 5 is really cool. You can uh, turn the mob spawner on or off with redstone. You, it spawns six mobs at a time. The frequency of spawn is way high. Um, it can spawn in different dimensions. Uh, it's just really, really cool. Oh, and it ignores light level, so you can have it in plain day. Okay. Um, what I wanted to do was, oh, we're gonna make our hazmat suit first, so we don't get hurt by the blazes. So let's get the suit first. They're actually really, really cheap. We need some orange dye. Hmm, but what we could do to get that dye is grab some of this. Let's go ahead and get like eight of it. And use our minium stone. Oh, you can't do it with bone meal? Huh. Good thing I have some ink sacks. I think it's, yeah. Or, what? There we go. Keep exchanging it. I'm going to have to make a new minium stone here soon. There we go. There we go. Almost there. Pretty sure. Almost there. Okay, guys, I will be right back. I think someone's home. Um, I'm going to go get situated. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I want to go tell them I'm recording. And let's get started on our hazmat suit. So the first one we're going to make is the chest plate. It's made with six rubber, like so, and two orange dye. I know we'll take up our backpack, but we won't be wearing that all the time, so we should be fine. Basically the same thing, just with less orange dye. Very cheap recipes for a really, really cool suit. But when I tested it in creative, it has a very low durability, so be prepared. Okay, and the helmet is a scuba helmet. This allows you to breathe underwater. With, you have to have, uh, I think it's CO or oxygen cells or something like that. Something from IC2. Um, glass, orange dye, iron bars. 
Let's get ourselves some iron bars. Um, I went ahead and made in two LV solar panels up there. Just uh keep us with a lot of power. Let's get some glass. Just like so. How did it go? Orange dye up top, okay. Scuba helmet. Sweet. Now we're gonna get to a the boots. Which are actually rubber boots. Very simple. Let's go ahead and store some stuff. Um, throw that in there. Throw that in there. Really all it is is rubber boots. Which is oh, made like so. Oh, guess not. How's it made? Oh, that's right. I literally just looked at the recipe and I forgot it. <laughs> it's kind of pathetic. Um, just like so. Sweet. Full hazmat suit. Uh, before we leave, we're going to go ahead and get that soul shard I was talking to you about. And to get that, you need to make a soul forge. Um, actually, let's look up the recipe for a soul shard. So right here, uh, you need to cook a diamond in a soul forge with eight corrupted essence. And you get three soul shards. So we're going to have to get a soul forge. Three stone, five obsidian, and a corrupted essence. Which, vile dust, I'm pretty sure it's yeah, soul sand. Let's go burn up some soul sand. Actually, nine of them. And let's go to bed real quick. Because we're going to need eight of them uh, to make our soul shards. We're going to grab a diamond. We're just going to get everything ready. Diamond. Sort that. How's that going? Let's get some... Ooh, I thought I had glowstone. Oh, yes, I do. I just never unpacked it. Sweet. Nine. And three stone. Let's get four obsidian. I don't feel like making it in the, uh, what should we call it over there right now. Actually, we might have to. So, English extruder, come on. Are you tell me we don't have any? Let's go chop down a tree real quick, guys. Just one tree. Actually, might have to do two, but here, this one would do right here. Because if you get two logs and use a minium stone, you can get in a piece of obsidian. There we go. Nice. Okay. Go ahead and make five obsidian. And let's. Oh, we don't have it yet. Let's get over there, grab our vial. Not vial dust. Uh, yeah, vial dust. Sorry about that. Um, throw that in there with glowstone. You get corrupted essence. Sweet. I believe it was made like that. We get ourselves a soul forge. Cool. Um, let me go ahead and put that like here for now. We can always, whenever we make our Thomcraft building. For right now, we're going to get that cooking. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and make a nether wart farm now. Because I want to get into brewing once we use our soul shards and make a mob farm because we're going to have to kill a bunch of mobs at once. So let's go over here and get a little mm -hmm. farm started for nether wart. Um, hmm, that's six. I got an idea. It's going to be a six by five. Actually, is that four? No, that's five. Six by five. Um, okay, that should be exact. I can always get more soul sand in the future, but to tell you the truth, we're rarely going to use another wart other than making potions. 
So let's get that going. Cool thing about another wart is um interesting fact, you can actually use it to breed chickens. That's right. You can use the seeds to breed chickens. And another thing is, unlike seeds, you can just jump on them, land on them, whatever, and it won't uh, break it. Cool, it's already growing. Wow. Let's go ahead and harvest all this. Because those soul shards take forever to cook up. We're going to need as much reed as we can get. Because we're going to be making an enchanting room soon. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, four, five. We have one too many. So we're going to have to kill them. I want to get a looting sword just to help out with that. Let's go ahead and meet him. Sweet. Exactly the amount we needed. Throw that. Let's go throw that in the chest real quick. And let's feed some cows. Wrong cow. There you go. You come over here. No, no. You. Come on. Oh, come on. See? Oh, I love that feature to where, um, you, it used to be where you right clicked on any cow and they always ate it, but it only lets you right click on cows that haven't made it. Unmated cow. Mm -hmm. There you go. Mm -hmm. They make it mm -hmm. cool. Mm -hmm. More baby cows. Nice. Let's go check on how our. See, we've only gone through three. So while that's going, let's go ahead and check our book and quill. See what we have. Um, those two are done. Uh. Done, 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 and done. Okay, let's go ahead and make a alloy furnace to get started a little bit with red power. For that, we're gonna need some bricks. Uh, that's two. So we need 32, if we want to be exact. What am I doing? There. And you get eight bricks, meaning the block bricks. And you get yourselves an alloy furnace. Sweet. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and put that right here. And for right now, let's go ahead and get some red alloy ingots cooking up. Um, that's exactly the amount. Okay. And let's get some fuel. Cool. Okay. Basically what this does is it allows you to cook up certain materials to get uh, red power items. And it usually requires several different inputs. And if you get four redstone and one piece of iron, you get a red alloy ingot. If you get three of these, you can actually make red alloy wire, which is a very useful um, redstone cabling system. So I'm going to go ahead and show you in just a second. Come on. Cool. Okay. If you make them like so, you get red alley wire. Um, this is basically like redstone, except you can place it on walls. You can even go on ro roofs. Ce ceilings, sorry. Um. I'm going to go ahead and add something to the book and quill. Let's go to line 11. Uh, it will be create um, assembly table setup. 
that has to do with certain uh, target gates and stuff like that. Really useful. Okay. So, hmm. Oh, uh, I just was watching a Let's Play and I found out something extremely interesting about um, induction smelters. There's a certain recipe, uh, like several recipes that um, there's a way to triple your ore output. So let me show you. It takes a while for the recipes to load. Come on. Whoa, why, why did I right click? God, sorry about that guys. It's gonna... Okay, left click. It's not even what I meant to do. Okay, um, we're gonna look up rich slag, and you get this rich slag from, I believe, from using the induction smelter to process ores and the dust, and then you can use it again in the induction smelter with physical ores, and you can get three ingots out of it instead of pulverizing and powering just to get two. There's a chance you can get slag, which is used for a thing called rock wool. So yeah, it's pretty cool. And you get it by, yeah, smelting sand and certain types of ores. And it's like a 5, 10, oh, it depends on what the ingot is to how much, what the percentage is of getting it. So yeah, really useful stuff. Let's go check on our uh, corrupted essence, etc. Okay, well, let's go, on. let's go ahead and uh, harvest our farm. So, as you can see, I got plenty of blaze rods. I'm actually... Hmm, no, I'm going to leave that in there for now. What was I going to do? Oh. Got a second one. Level 71. I can't waste to use those levels. Can't wait, not waste. <laughs> Love the feeling of just ripping through the crops. Why did I not have my bag on me? Alright, guys. What I'm thinking. Let's get in here and let's get planting. Sweet. Let's grab our seeds and corn kernels. Knew that was gonna happen. Sweet. Let's go get our normal wheat farm. I know we're gonna lose some of our crops, but it's fine. Mm. I have plenty. Mm. Cool. Fresh farms. Let's go store our crops and let's go to bed real quick. Hmm. Cool. Let's go over here and throw some corn in, string, leather, all of that. done guys. We're about to get our soul shard. And the, then once you get your soul shard at a certain tier, you get you use the soul cage and you place the soul cage and right click it, uh, right click the soul cage with your soul shard and it creates that type of spawner. Now to get tier 1 you need to kill 64 mobs, tier 2 128, tier 3 256, tier 4 512, and then tier 5 1024. And what I plan to do is get a tier 5. What the heck? Is it glitching out or something? Hmm. Um, what I plan to do is get a tier 5 Blaze Soul Shard, which should be really, really cool. Basically, what that does is uh, then I'll have a 
display spawner. Really, really. Um, here, let me show you real quick. So basically, I'm going in cheat mode just to show an example. Actually, let's do something like uh, that. Let's go to nighttime. Um, let's find some mobs. I believe I'm on peaceful because of the blazes is really making me mad. You see, first you hit a mob with it, then you can finish them off. And now, oh snap! That's not what I meant to do. Um, now as this is designated towards zombies, and I've placed a soul cage, and I put that there. It's a zombie spawner. So cool. Let's go back into creative and destroy it. And delete the soul shard. Okay. Um, so yeah guys, I don't know why that didn't create my soul shards. I will be back once I have them fully created. Okay guys, I'm back. I uh, got my three soul shards. Uh, which is the output when you... Uh, uh, turns out I was one corrupted essence lower than I needed. So that whole time was basically wasted. Now we get our three soul shards. I'm gonna actually go... I'm gonna keep one. Or I'm gonna keep them all with me for right now. And when we get back I'm gonna make a really really useful bag. I almost went the wrong way again. Can't believe I just did that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some dirt just so we can extend our little platform out there. Loving this diamond drill. So let's get out there. Got our hazmat suit. We should be uh, pretty well suited for this nether trip. Speed. Cool. Let's go ahead and extend this platform so I don't always die. Go into the nether again and go back to our little blaze spawner out there. I'm gonna have to manually kill. Well, I'm gonna want to manually kill those blazes for right now. So I'm gonna have to shut my turtles off. Or I can just climb on in there and just. Well, but. I think that's what I'm gonna do. And then the. The, uh. Whatchamacallit? The turtles can kind of help out because they they just sit stationary and attack so only when the blazes come to them is when they kill the blaze oh it's a fence that will get that's what kept stopping me okay let's get up here uh, got everything set up so put it on easy for now I don't feel like risking it too much Come on, Blazes, where are you? I'm just going to show a quick example of what I'm going to be doing. And then I'll get... Actually, yeah, let's, I'm just going to stay here and get it designated with y'all. Where are they? As you can see, that's not hurting me whatsoever. Cool. We now have a blaze soul shard. So I'm going to go back. Now as you see, for each kill, I only get one kill, really. So um, I'll come back to you all when I'm back in my base with something really cool to help us increase the amount of souls we capture from killing one mob. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I got back and I want to make two things. The first thing is going to be a canvas bag. This is from Red Power. Uh, we've made the seed bags before. This is a little bit different. So we need these canvases, eight of them. So we need about a s exactly a stack of string. We're going to need eight sticks. Let's go ahead and do this. Eight canvases and lay it out in a chest format. We get a canvas bag. Uh, basically, this just 
is like a little storage space in your inventory. Uh, so what I'm going to do is this is going to be my tool bag. My useful tools or soul shards that are unused. Uh, anything that I need on a daily basis. So I'm going to keep my minium stone on me. Probably my diamond drill. Uh, I can throw that in there. Maybe torches. That. So I think I should be good for right now. Next, I... I want to make a way to be able to capture souls quicker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bile sword. Basically, uh, this is a sword that is able to enchant a certain enchantment which allows, it's called a soul steel enchantment, and it allows you to get more souls out of a uh, mob when you kill them. So let me sleep real quick. And we're gonna try to make ourselves a enchanting room. I never thought about that. I need an enchantment table. Okay, let's uh make an enchantment table. Four obsidian, two diamond in the book. Two diamond. Again, really? Okay, we're gonna do it this way. <laughs> Can't take it. Four of these. Four of these exactly the amount we needed. Oof, the other way. Actually, somehow we're gonna have to empty that. And I have an idea. <laughs> I know. I waste a little bit of red liquid redstone, but we got plenty for right now. I'm gonna do it the other way. Okay. So the water cans in there. I'm gonna go ahead and empty into our little uh, mag or India's extruder. Now we're gonna do the lava cans. Sweet. It's gonna make some obsidian for us, exactly the amount that we needed. And we're gonna go make a book real quick. Actually, tons of books. Um, all our sugar cane is really out at our farm, so... Wow, we don't have enough leather. So I might have to do a little bit of farming. For right now, we don't need a bunch of paper. Let's go ahead and make a book. And let's make our enchanting table. Sweet. Got an enchantment table. Okay, I'll be back once I've killed some cows, uh, harvested some more sugar cane, so yeah, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Um, I got some leather here from killing some cows, and I got plenty of sugar cane. i uh, tell you the truth, all we need is 30 bookshelves. We need 30 sets of paper. So, oh, we're gonna need actually way more than that. What am I talking about? Oh, God. Sorry, guys, wasn't thinking. Let's go ahead and get some wood and get as much as we can out of this. So, I'm gonna make some logs. I believe it is like. This is only gonna be 10. Wow. That really is a huge bummer. Okay. Um, I'll be right back once we got our bookshelves created. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I got my 30 bookshelves. And uh, right now I'm trying to think where I should put it. Now, I was thinking we could just do a temporary one. And I'm thinking that's what I'm, I'm going to want to do. And I think I'm going to place it. Oof. Um... Maybe just right here for now, to tell you the truth. We only need 30. So one side, it's not going to be completely symmetrical. Ouch, did I just do that? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Pretty sure it was 30. Oh no, that's to get 30 levels. What am I talking about? Okay, we got it. Go ahead and delete that. Man, I am not thinking today. I just wasted so much time. It's just unreal. Okay. 
Let's go get a vile sword now, sweet. So, make a vile sword, you need two corrupted ingots. We're actually gonna make a couple of the vile swords. We need corrupted fragments, which are iron in a soul forge. And that gets you hmm, okay, so three iron for one ingot. So six iron for a sword. We need eighteen iron. Yes, eighteen. That's an odd number. Okay, let's throw that in there. It's also well we got wood. Um let's get let's just get a bunch of some of that. Okay, I'll be right back once I got soul sand. Okay, he's back. I got absolutely tons of soul sand here. I'm going ahead and cooking some up. Um, I'm going to throw the rest back in here along with our nether rack. And I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff started. I'm going to wait till we get about. Oof. Let's go ahead and put some in here, make it quick. There we go. Already catching up, wow. And we are now done with that. Sweet guys. Okay. Corrupted essence. We're gonna make three of these swords. So let's throw that in there. How long does it take to cook up? Only one corrupted essence, so it should be really quick. Cool. Okay. Let's get the sticks ready and let's sort our inventory and stuff. Sort that, 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 that. Oh, not that. Cool. Okay. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go check on our pumpkins. And, no, actually, we're good. What I wanna know is, can you enchant a diamond drill? And what does it take to make an advanced diamond drill? Is actually a little bit better. Okay, that's a little bit out of our league. We're gonna. Act Ooh. It's full. Shut you off. We're gonna have to upgrade our energy source soon. So let's charge up you. And I'm gonna go see if we can enchant that. So not too much magical stuff this episode, but really it's pretty cool in my opinion. Get out there and let's see if we can enchant. Oh, we can't. But I saw someone do it. Whatever. Huh? What is all this? Um. What I could do is I believe I have tons of arrows. Oh, sweet, nice. How many arrows do I have? Forty-three. Um, I think I'm good for now. Nice, okay. Got us some corrupted ingots. We're gonna make two vile swords. Huh. <laughs> And I believe uh, I want a Soul Stealer 4, which is the maximum. It's kind of hard to get. So I might have to go off camera, make more Vile Swords, gain more levels. Just repeat the process until I get Soul Stealer 4. Which basically, when you get Soul Stealer 4 and you kill a mob that is designated to that Soul Shard, um, you get 5 souls.
That's right, five. So for every mob you kill, you get five added to your soul count, which is sweet. Three vile swords. Nice. Let's go in here. And let's put that in there. Sharpness three, verbal two. We got one more we can do. Sharpness four. Okay. Already out. Um, let's hope we get lucky. So yeah, guys, I'll be back once I got a Soul Stealer Four Vial Sword. Okay, so I'm back. Um, back in the Nether, I got a sweet enchantment: Soul Stealer Four, Disjunction Four, and Verbal Two. Verbal Two, some red power allows you to cut off heads. That's right. Disjunction Four, I have no idea. Um, and Soul Stealer, I already told you about. So hopefully, we can get plenty of souls captured. And I know the sword is gonna die down quick, so we're gonna have to make or make an anvil to keep repairing it. And I'll try to get his, a tier 5 spawner by next episode for you guys. Okay. Let's eat some popcorn. So let's see if it works. Seven. It worked. Sweet. That is great, guys. That means for each time we kill a blaze, we should get five kills. That is sweet. And twelve. Awesome guys. Okay, um I'll be back once I got plenty of blazes killed and stuff like that. So I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. I killed tons of blazes. To be in fact, I got 148, 84 souls. So I believe, let's see, two, four, I believe I'm already at a tier two, working my way towards tier three. Darn, another portal. Hey guys, I'll be back once I get to my base, and it is daytime. Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I got. Back to my base, slept, and looking up the recipe for an anvil. So we need 4 plus 27 iron, so uh, 31. Just like so. Oh man, I hate breaking it into 9. So annoying. Anvil, sweet. Very new to this, just letting y'all know. So let's you get your anvil, you need to put your tool in, and I forgot one thing, so I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back. Um, what I was missing was corrupted ingots. What you need is the material used to make that uh, tool. So in this case, I use corrupted ingots, so that's what I'm going to use to repair it. So you can put it in there, you can change the name of it, um, and it also costs more levels to do that. So I'm going to do like... Uh, Blaze, blaze blade. <laughs> so uh, basically, you just put them in there. It costs a certain amount of levels, and you can fully repair it. Sweet. So yeah, guys. Um, I think that's about it for our sixth episode of the Modern Minecrafters W W D twenty pack FTB Let's Play. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys later.